Hello everyone, it's Mommy Joy again and welcome back to my channel. So for today's episode, I will be sharing to you how I got the first rank for the RQA or the Registered Qualified Applicants for Teacher 1 in the whole province of Cebu. So for those of you who wish to apply in a public school, this video is for you. So this is how it all started. I got married in the November of 2018 and I got pregnant in the February of 2019 and I delivered my son in the November of 2019. So nowadays, it's really hard to look for a yaya that you can really depend on na hindi ka mag-aalala na iiwan mo yung anak mo sa hindi mo kilala. And it's really hard to leave my son here in the province and I'm working in the city. So my husband and I decided na I need to apply in a public school but at least naman I can be with my son and then I can see his progress, I can see his milestones and matutukan ko siya. And also, my parents are already senior citizens. So, the question is how I got the first rank for the RQA in the whole province of Cebu. Anyway, First thing first, you need to prepare all the needed documents like your application letter, your certificates, your PDS or the personal data sheet, and then your trainings, your seminars attended, and also your specialized training. So you need to get the NC2 para you can have at least 10 points for that. Also your omnibus and then your NBI clearance. You need to have at least three copies of that. One is for the original copy and then the two are the photocopies. So one is for the district and the other one is for the division. So you need to prepare all the needed requirements or documents. And then number two, you need to attend the orientation. Para at least naman you know when and where, the interview, the demo, and then the English proficiency test. And then also you need to pass your documents before the deadline. For the documents, you need to make it formal, you need to make it presentable. So number three is for the interview. So for the interview, kailangan mong, you need to know the answers of the questions because it would be in the panel. So, lahat ng mga principals at yung supervisor ay nandoon to ask you some questions at kailangan mong masagot ang mga questions na yun. So, basically, yung mga questions nila, uh, typical questions ay nanggagaling sa, like for example, how are you going to, to address some issues of the children or Paano kung nag yung dalang, dalawang bata? Paano mo handle So, those are some of the questions na they would ask you at kailangan mong masagot in a direct way. So, hindi ka pwedeng, uh, yeah, it's up to you naman but hindi pwedeng like paikot-ikot ng sagot. So, direct to the point. So, yun yun. So, you need to attend or be in the interview para my points ka for that. Okay? And then number four is the demo for the demonstration. So for the demonstration, you need to pick the subject na kabisado mo. So alam mong i-handle, alam mo kung paano i-deliver. So for the lesson plan, yung mga objectives. So kailangan alam mo kung paano mo siya i-deliver, paano mo siya i-demo for for your co-teachers na applicants then at for the principals. So, plus points if you're using yung mga ICT thingy, like for the laptop, for the projector, yung mga speakers, or yung mga videos. So, plus points yun. During that time, in my case, I just used band paper. Band papers, and then I just wrote there mga important points. And then I just put mga abubots like mga flower flowers, yung mga butterflies, or mga yun yun. So, plus points if you're using ICT because you are now in the modern world, in the techie, techie, techie world. So, yun. 
for the demonstration. Kailangan mong pumili ng subject na alam, alam mo. So, in my case, I use English verbs. The, the topic was verbs. Kasi pambata siya eh. Pang grade 1. So, dapat you are going to look for a subject and for the topic na alam mo kung paano mo i-deliver. So, yun. So, interview and then demonstration. The last thing is for the English proficiency test. So, during my time, it was before pandemic. As far as I can remember, it was March 1, 2020. We had it at Minglanilia, Cebu. So, all the applicants in the whole province of Cebu was gathered, were gathered there. And then, you were just given 60 minutes for, for the, like, one hour for the general thing and then one hour or 60 minutes for the reading comprehension. So, nahirapan ako sa reading comprehension kasi I am not that, I am not a voracious reader. Hindi ako mahilig magbasa. Magbasa lang ko minsan but not totally my thing. So, nahirapan ako doon kasi you need to have at least one minute for that and then some of the items are medyo maha like mahaba like five sentences or ten or more and then you need to read it fast and then you need to comprehend also so yun so that was i think medyo nahirapan ako sa reading comprehension but if you are a voracious reader if you are really good at reading so hindi ka mahirapan doon ang um, madali mong sagutin ang mga tanong and then, yun, maybe you will get perfect for that. But for me, I just got like 9% something. And the points for that was 15. And I only got like 9. So, in my overall score, like the whole score, as I as far as I can remember, it was 86.6. And then, yung pangalawa is 85.2. Nagkalamang lang kami. La, I mean, lamang lang ako sa skills, yung specialized training because I got 10 points and she, she only got like 5 points for that. So, importante yung specialized training, I tell you. So, yung mga, yung QPA mo, yung grade mo in college, it is also very important. Yung interview, yung demo, yung English proficiency, lahat-lahat na. Alright? So, yun. So, the reason why I got the first rank in the RQA in the whole province of Cebu as Teacher 1 applicant. So, this is not to brag, but this, this is to inspire other people na, yeah, pwede pala, even if you are just an ordinary person, na, as long as you have, the, you have in your heart na gusto mo yun, gusto ko yun. So, kung gusto mo, may paraan, di ba? So, yun, again, you need to prepare all the needed documents or requirements. And then, you need to attend the orientation, the interview, and the demonstration, and then the English proficiency test. By the way, hindi ka basta-bastang mapasali or mapasama sa listahan ng mga RQA or the Registered Qualified Applicants. If you can get at least 70% of it, the whole thing. Just like in taking board exams, like teachers, we need to get at least 75% of it for us to pass or else we have to retake the test. So in the RQA, you need to get at least 70% or else you need to reapply. So during my time, the unofficial result was released May of 2020. Bakit may unofficial? Kasi hindi pa yun final. Kasi baka may mga applicants na mag-ask ng questions why their scores are like this and like that. That's why there is an official result. And then the official result was released last August of 2020. And then I got the assignment advice. March of 2021 and then last May 18, 2021 was my first day of service. So it's a long wait but the long wait is over and it's all worth it.
Alright, I hope you learned something from this video and if you do, please leave a comment, give a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. See you next time. Babush.